I truly understand where the Grinch was coming from. You and me both. Like, I just watched the Grinch for the thousand, thousand, thousandth time yesterday. And I couldn't help but feel sorry for the Grinch. You know, being an introvert myself, he's very much been traumatized as a kid. He didn't feel, he didn't ever belong anywhere in the Whoville because no one else was, he looked totally different. Everyone picked on him for being different. He was also, a, like, fostered because he couldn't, he never had touch with his real parents. So he probably felt like he wasn't loved and had wondered this as a kid, even. The mayor through the whole movie is the villain. He, he keeps making out the grants like he's this bad guy like he even belittles Sidney Lou Who through the whole movie too for speaking up against how it's wrong treating him differently and acts like because she's a kid she doesn't understand when she, out of all of them who she's the only one that gets it no one mails his letters not even his parents or his his two moms even the teacher laughs at him whenever he's being made fun of and Sidney Lou goes out of her way to invite him for Christmas, an event where he's actually out of his comfort zone and reunited with his with his family and then also looked up to for a while as far as, you know, the um the Christmas events and everything down there. But then the mayor, the fucking asshole, has to gaslight him with a shaver that he knew that would uh trigger him and also proposes to his crush growing up. And the Grinch is real for really telling everyone off about how Christmas is just about gifts and the long run and how no one appreciates anything because of all the trash that it had accumulated through the years. And he's not even a bad person. Yeah, he does steal their Christmas, but it makes them see that they don't need it. And in the long run, it really it changes them as well, um, not just himself. And that's why I think the live action movie with Jim Carrey not only is it's one of his best performances, but also the movie, the story, everything that added is just, I don't know, the character development, there, there was actual character development there where there wasn't much in the book. Like, it basically just still Christmas because he hates it. And there's no depth there, really, as far as, you know, him being a greeny meanie asshole that don't like Christmas because of whatever reason. But that scene whenever he lit the tree on fire, I wish he had tied the mirror to that and just went, went on with it. And notice he was the only who that wasn't in the damn cave um, at Mount Crumpet at the end. Um, everyone, everyone else, you know, put aside their differences and everything and went up there. He was, I didn't see him there. He was misunderstood his whole life. And that's what made him isolate. And yeah, watching it as an adult through doing pair of eyes, you really understand it. Which you can understand it as a kid as well. But yeah, I don't know, it's it just all, all the pieces fit together. And Sandy Lou, who really understands the Grinch, because they don't really see the whole point of Christmas being so commercialized and about presents and everything. Same as the Grinch, like, they're really similar. Um, the Grinch and Sandy both being misunderstood. Her for stepping out of the norm and standing up for the Grinch, even though she didn't really know him. And, you know, she saw some good in him, unlike everyone else. But there's truth to this movie, and that's, that's why I think it's really appealing even more so now because people are starting to see like how the story is relatable on a human level um despite it being about a grinch you know a hermit type of person something that you wouldn't think would be you know considered worthy of having around but they are because who isn't really like 